Hi, it's Jean from Jeannie's Favorite Products. So recently I haven't really done any videos because I'm 35 weeks into my pregnancy and um, to be exact, I'm actually 35 weeks and 5 days into my pregnancy and in my first pregnancy I actually gave birth today. So recently I've been taking everything really slow and I've been really cautious because I don't want to give birth so early again. Um, because when my son was born he was like 4 pounds something and um, he was really tiny and I don't want my second baby to be so early and so small again. But my doctor has told me that I would give birth early this time. So I've been really cautious lately and I haven't really done much. So I've been kind of lazy to do videos as well. But today I thought I might do a video because um, I've received a lot of products in my maybe boxes lately. Um, in the past two months actually. But um, I haven't really done many reviewing videos I've only done a lot of unboxing videos and so I thought today I would do a video on reviewing some products some of the makeup products that I've used um, because I was only able to kind of use my makeup products recently I seldom use makeup as you already know so it's kind of like it's really rare and before I forget my experiences on using these products I thought I might do the video today and so Oh, the reason why I don't use a lot of makeup is because I believe that if you have beautiful skin, then you wouldn't really need to use makeup. So I try to keep my skin in very good condition. But there are times when you really do need to use makeup, um, such as like a photo shoot. So last week I went out for my maternity photo shoot with my prenatal yoga buddies and we needed to apply our own makeup. And so I was finally able to use some of these makeup products in my meme boxes. And so um, today I'm going to review these products one by one and I will tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them and also my general kind of overall rating on these products. Okay, so um, the first product that I'm going to talk about is the Born Tree Blue Mineral Avenue Air Fit Sun CC 15 grams. This was featured in my Super Box number 23 summer meeting and this is what the box looks like. This is a SPF 38 PA++ CC cream and it looks like this. It comes in a reflective pearl white casing. It's quite big I think. Um, it's quite pretty but I don't like how that, I don't like the fact that your fingerprints always stick onto the cover. And I always have this habit to wipe it off, but you can never wipe away all your fingerprints. Anyways, when you open up the pack, it's like this. The cushion is here. And all you need to do is just press gently. And then your CC cream will come out. And then you can just use your sponge and just wipe off the CC cream and apply it all over your face. Um, to me, the shade is a little too white for me. I'm already quite white, but this was too white for me. Um, I might save this for use in the winter, um, but it's not really suitable for me at this moment because it is too white. I did compare using this and the IOP Air Cushion XP, um, but I preferred the IOP XP. Um, I, this is in shade N21. It also says that it is SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. So in terms of SPF, the IOP wins. In terms of color, the IOP also wins. But what I don't like about the IOP is the bad smell. But with the Born Tree, it has a really nice kind of flowery scent, which I really like. But it wasn't so easy to blend into my skin. And I also realized that the cushion part could kind of get messy when you pump it out. And I also realized that, yeah, the, the colors, okay, first of all, the color is too white. Secondly, it doesn't blend too well into my skin. The, the, it was kind of hard to push out, like it didn't really stick, adhere to my skin very well. Um, but the OP one did. So that day, the night before my photo shoot, I actually went to try on these two products. I put this one on the left side of my face and I put this one on the right side of my face. And I realized that this was too white and this this was like the perfect color for my skin. But yeah, this one has a nicer smell. This one doesn't. They're about the same size. 
I would say this one comes in a nicer packaging. This one is just really simple. But uh, yeah, I didn't really use this one and I don't really like it. So I would give it a rating of about 7 out of 10. Um, nice design and everything. Just not the right color for me. Okay, so the second product is the Rivkal Sebum Control Convenient Pack 8 grams. Um, is the special herb number 8 has lavender, rosemary, thyme, mint, borage, sage, jasmine, and chamomile. The box looks like this. It was featured in my mini box office essentials. Um, so let's look at the, the inside. Um, it comes in a very simply designed casing. Um, to me, I think it's not very pretty. It's too simple and it looks kind of cheap, actually. But it's very compact and it fits easily into my handbag. I also don't, okay, I, I don't like this, is that it doesn't open very easily. There's no button or anything. You kind of have to use your fingernails and kind of just pull it open. And I also don't like the fact that um, the sponge and the powder is separated by like a really cheap plastic. I don't know if you're supposed to keep this or throw this away, but if you do throw it away, there's nothing that keeps the, the, the sponge away from the powder. But if you do keep it, it's very annoying because you have to take it out before you use the powder. So that's what I don't like about it. The packaging is quite cheap. But it's a really good setting powder. Um, it lasts six to seven hours and absorbs all the oil on my skin. It controls sebum and oil very well. Um, so that my skin doesn't feel oily at all, even during this really humid summer. Um, I keep this in my handbag just to kind of like blot on my nose at times when it feels oily. But it's a really good powder, but the design and everything is just missing something. And so I give it like a rating of maybe 8 or 9. It's quite good, but yeah, it's not too pretty in my opinion. Okay, so the third product is the Greenwich Ultimate Pore Silk BB Primer, 15ml. It came in a box like this. Um, it was featured in my Super Box number 22, Pore Care number 2 box. It's another Greenwich product. Oh, it matches my top. Um, anyway, um, this is transparent on the skin. Oh, sorry. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes in a very nice packaging with like a lid and also the pump part that's here um the pump of this bottle because it's silvery it gets really dirty easily because when you have the primer on your hands when you touch it again it kind of leaves finger marks like fingerprints on it so i don't really like that part yeah but other than that this is quite a good product um it's transparent on the skin but it feels very silky and really really easy to blend in it also leaves like a very silky and matte finish and it does have a slight scent and it does kind of cover your pores very well so I really like this product um, yeah there's nothing much I can say about it I just really like it and it has a matte finish it feels very smooth yeah as the name really says so it's one of the products I really like from Greenf comes with like a nice too. Yeah, so I would probably give that product maybe like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Mm. Okay, so next is the Hope Girl 140 Super Lash Mascara 11ml. So I kind of threw away the box already. Um, this came in my Mimi Box Office Essentials. It's one of the two mascaras I received in all um, out of my Mimi Boxes. I also received another Hope Girl Mascara that I got in my summer box, but I decided to use this one and it comes in a very nice packaging, it's very sexy with the leopard kind of pattern on it and um, I'll open it up. The shape is like this, it's like a curve and I really really like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of mascaras because I kind of like the natural look I don't really need to be I don't need it to be very voluminizing so it just needs to be natural I I think I am quite picky about mascaras I really like them how 
obviously um, I like if it's easier to use and I like how it doesn't feel clumpy on my eyes and I like how it dries really quickly so this was very easy to apply and it made my lashes look longer it was really easy to apply it didn't feel clumpy and it also dried very quickly on my eyelashes so it didn't really leave any black marks under my eyes and it didn't smudge throughout the day so um, in general I'm very happy about this mascara um, I was originally going to sell it but I'm so glad that I didn't sell it because I really like it um, I probably give this mascara another 8 or 9 out of 10 I'm really happy about it um, so the next product that I am going to talk about is the SNB Magic Eye Remover 0.16 ml and you get 20 of them this was featured in my super box number 20 all in one it comes in a box like this um, at first I was just like why did they give me cotton buds but when I actually re re um, read the thing it actually said it's an, eight, it's an eye makeup remover and it's actually really really useful it kind of saved my day um, I also lent it to my friends to use and they loved it too so it really does look like a normal cotton bud but the thing is it has liquid inside and that is your eye liquid makeup remover and what you need to do is just pull this part out and then the liquid will kind of absorb into one side or both sides of the cotton bud and then um, this is really amazing because that day I was applying makeup and I kind of made a mistake on my eyebrows I didn't realize how um, how thick that kind of eyebrow liquid thing was and um, the more I use a cotton bud to smudge the, the darker the line and I was like shit I was like oops um, yeah and I was in a hurry so I kind of really needed to get rid of the makeup but then I had already done my eyes I'd already done like everything else and I didn't want to use like a makeup remover to get rid of all the stuff on my eyebrows and so um, I instantly thought of this one and I instantly used it and I just kind of got rid of the makeup and I was like wow it was a relief um, so I really like this product and I also lent it to my friends and my friend was applying makeup on another friend and um, she used this to kind of help um, take out the mistake of the eyeliner that she did and she loved it she said it was much better than normal cotton bud with washer um, and it's just really easy so this was like really amazing for immediate fix-ups um, it's so convenient to bring outside because it comes in a box I mean you can just take one and just put it in your bag um, and it works much better than a normal cotton bud without anything on it it's just really convenient um, my friend asked me where I bought it I don't know where you buy it but I just got it in my all-in-one super box so that's a really good product and I'm so glad that I have this one it kind of saves my day um, the last product that I am going to review today is the Megahura BP Cream 3ml and I got two of these the boxes here um, I received it in my lucky box in 5 this one um, I don't really have much to say about this primer because I mean I only received such a small tube I know I have two tubes but it's kind of small and it's not like I'm gonna buy like a bigger one there's nothing really special about this primer especially when I already have the green F1 um, I don't really know how to compare primers but I would prefer the green, the green F1 because it does kind of help my pores more this one really is just a normal primer well the colors are different though but this one is um, a little pinker and this one is more like yellow, yellow color Mm, I don't have much to say about this primer because it didn't really do much to my skin I mean it did leave it silky um, soft but so did this one and I prefer the smell of this one because this one is too strong the Mega Hero one is a bit too strong for me so it's kind of like a perfumey kind of smell and I don't really like that kind of smell 
So, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one. Mm, I'd probably give it like a 7. Oh yeah, I forgot to rate this one. I would give this one like a 10. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'd probably give this one a 7. So, yeah, that's all the products I've used. Um, all the makeup products that I've used inside my Mimi boxes. Um, I received quite a lot of lip tints, but I did happen to give most of them away because I don't like the color. They're too bold and bright for me. I like the more natural colors, so I haven't gotten to use those. But yeah, I used most of the products. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video, and I hope my reviews have helped you. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, if you want to know no more about me, then you can follow me on Instagram. You can check me out on Facebook. And you can also visit my blog, geniuswayproducts.blogspot.com. In the meanwhile, I'm just still waiting for my baby to come out. So if I do receive my next box before my baby comes, then I'll be doing another, another unboxing video. Otherwise, then everything will have, will have to wait after my baby delivers. So wish me luck and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.